Rents in Toronto continues to rise until the end of March 2023. This caused more tenants worry about their life expenses. This is Yuan Huang of Toronto Observer, and now in front of 60 Brian Harrison Way. We're going to check out what is happening. The average rent for one bedroom in Toronto has reached 2,501 in March. That is about 21.5% higher than that in 2022. The rise in rent makes tenants worry. Yu Kun Liu, a third-year international student at the University of Toronto Scarborough, found one more roommate to share the rent. The rental price increase can affect, uh, affect our lives significantly, especially for, for us because we need to save more money to, like, to pay the rent. The reason for Toronto's rising rent is the demand exceeds the supply. The Bank of Canada has increased the policy interest rate from 0.25% to 4.5%. This has led to more people being more willing to look for a place to live by renting rather than buying. But the fact is, it takes a long time to build a new residential place in Toronto. The supply doesn't um, match the demand, so um, like people have no choice but to um, but you find a place to live. The growth of immigration has also led to an increase in demand for rental housing. Compared to the number of immigrants from 2020 to 2021, it has increased 80,830 from 2021 to 2022. Another reason is the impact of COVID-19. Many households chose to leave urban courts to avoid being among infected people. This resulted in many one-bedroom condos remaining. Now the impact of COVID-19 has faded. Some people chose to return to where they originally live. Thus, the supply decreased and the rent increased. Tenants do have ways to cope with rising rent. Basically, tenants have to start planning to uh, live further away from the core to maybe get uh, some relief in terms of rent prices. Tenants can seek help from housing advocacy groups, which have convenient access to communicate with media. This could be helpful to make tenants' voice heard. Students could investigate information related to candidates, which they think would take actions in rent problems and vote for the ones they trust. Housing doesn't get built or fixed in a couple of years. It takes a generation. It might be a consideration for the government to build more places to live in order to relieve the lack of supply in housing. I still have the hope for to, to let the Toronto rent price go down. This is Toronto Observer, Yuan Huang reporting.